What? No, dude. Whoa, dude. Look at this Gremlins oh. lunchbox. Oh, dude, that radio. <gasps> dude. And he showed it to me and I was like, yeah, I've, I've never seen that. Can we make a deal for both? Guys, that's what I got. That's what I spent over a thousand dollars on. What is up internet, Retro here and welcome back to another episode of Retro Hunting. So if you guys have been following the channel for a little bit, you guys know that I usually find uh, the pieces that I add to my collection at, at garage sales, flea markets, thrift stores. I like to find this stuff out in the wild, but yet again, I have broken I have broken my own rule, but for good reason. So here's why. I, I love a, a very specific 90s toy line that not many people know uh, actually has a toy line. It is the Tiger Electronics Talk Boy Collection. Now people know about the Talk Boy, and some people even know about the Talk Boy pen, but there's actually dozens of Talk Boy uh, related items, and I love them. I love them, I've been collecting them for, for over five years now, and I'm, I'm on the hunt to complete this entire collection, and we are so close now because uh, I have three packages that have came in the mail, You've got mail. that I've, I've purchased online and from a private dealer uh, to get to get these items. I never see these items ever, and I promise you I would never ever see them out in the wild. So today, we're gonna open up these three packages. I may or, or may have not spent over $1,000 on these three packages. That seems like sort of a dumb thing to do. Which is absolutely insane, but I'm so close, guys. I'm down to one piece, and I'll also share with you guys uh, what that last piece is uh, when we get into it. But we are still going uh, hunting today uh, with my boy Chuck. Uh, we are going out there again uh, in the Heber Springs area to go hunt for, for all of the nostalgia goodness. And also before we get into it, I want to let you guys know about something that I believe is the future uh, of game and toy collecting. I'm not even being dramatic. I truly believe uh, this is, is the future of game and toy collecting, uh, of all collecting really. And it is an app called Whatnot. So you guys may have heard about this before. I just recently have heard about this app and I've been on for the last week every single night. I'm telling you guys, I'm addicted to this app. So basically what it is, think about if eBay and Twitch merged together and collided. It is live auctions built around community. Now I've always been a huge fan of auctions, of just general auctions. I've been going to them since I was a kid, just the thrill of an auction, bidding against each other, it's amazing. And I remember the first time I ever saw an online auction, on YouTube and I was like man this is really smart you know you kind of have a bunch of like-minded people um, bidding on things and it was really cool but there were definitely still flaws within just seeing a YouTube online auction a lot of it has to do with like payments and stuff like that it's kind of a you know annoying to have to be like all right I'll get with you in a little bit to figure out how to PayPal you or whatever it gets a little bit uh, gets a little annoying so whenever I first heard about whatnot I was like Okay, what is this? I started to kind of dig into it. So that was about a week ago and I have been on every single night and I have bought so much stuff. I've gotten incredible deals and I'm telling you, this is this is the future of game uh, and toy collecting, buying and reselling because you're, you're right there with a bunch of like-minded people and um, the community aspect, the relationship aspect is so cool because again, you, you're in this live stream of, you know, maybe it's Super Nintendo night and you're talking about all these games, but then you're talking back and forth about your memories about these games. You're getting good deals. It's seriously so much fun, guys. I've been on it every single night. I have bought so much stuff. I bought so much stuff, uh, but here's the thing. So I told you earlier about the whole payment. The whole payment thing is usually kind of like the stumbling block in terms of like an online auction. They have all this nailed down, guys. Everything is linked. Um, for me, it's my PayPal account. I, I buy things in real time. I bid in real time. They're seeing it on their end. And as soon as I buy it, it pays for it and it's shipped out the next day. It's that incredible. I'm telling you guys, this is the future. I cannot stress it enough. So here's another reason why I am super stoked about this app, guys, is I'm actually partnering with Whatnot to have a huge 
online auction on December 10th, 7 p.m. U.S. Central Standard Time. Guys, it's going to be a huge night. We're all gonna hang out, talk about games together, uh, buy some games, hopefully some really great deals, also do some giveaways. I'm gonna do a ton of mystery boxes too, which uh, for me is always the thrill of, of maybe getting that huge item. Uh, and we may or may not be putting an Xbox Series X in one of those mystery boxes. It's going to be, it's going to be so much fun. So make sure to go hop over to what not the app. I'm going to link down in the description my channel. So make sure to go over and follow me at Retro Rick. Download the app and get ready guys for December 10th. Be there. It is going to be so much fun. Again, giveaways, mystery boxes, and a ton of great deals on, on modern and uh, retro games. Mark my words. This is the future of collecting, of comic book, card, games, toys, uh, of collecting, buying, and reselling is online community relationship auctions. They are so much fun. I'm addicted. I'm addicted, guys. Uh, so we're about to get into it. We're going to a flea market again with Chuck and make sure to stick around to the end of the video so we can open up these packages of extremely rare Talkboy items. Let's get into the hunt. There's some hope. It smells more of these here. signs, man. Dude. Oh, the... <laughs> Dude. I love Broncos. Oh, yeah. Hey, look at this. More cards. Yep. 1988. Bubble gum. 250 unopened with the bubble gum. Is there truly a collector of these old bottles? What is that? Oh. Dude. Those are cards. Those are troll cards. Oh, what? what in the world? 20 bucks. This is so weird that I want it. Look at this. Look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> nice shot. You could do a sweet unboxing video. <laughs> Dude, those are wild. Look at that. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh, look at that California Raisin. Ooh, that's oh, sweet. He's a, he's a big one now. Oh, it's a sheep. It's a sheep. Six ninety five. She's beautiful. I like your shoes. Look at her. I like your shoes. Would you just look at her? All right. What I was saying. Eighty eight. Is these bottles? Who is collecting these things, man? I say that, and I almost just bought some troll cards. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are like, are you kidding? Listen to yourself. Oh, dude, that, that is radio wow. is amazing. Look Zenith. at that thing. I had a Zenith TV. That's the one I had growing up as a kid. That's so cool. What is that? Yeah, that's Hold that cool. thing down. Robin Hood Ale? That is that cool. That is super cool. And that Fresca too. Uh -huh. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look. I saw a Walkman um, cassette player at a flea market. It was like $140. I was like, what? That, what? Batteries, that could be worth something right Let's there. Let's see what it is. It's a Walkman. Ah, that's my girl. When it's the personal stereo that lets you hear the music in a whole new way, it's a Sony. Oh, it's working, man. You need, that's your, that's gonna inspire you to start working out, Chuck. Right? Running down the road. 10 memory push sets. There you go. That's pretty sweet. Those troll cards. I will look that up in a little while. He says that, he'll forget. I will forget in a little while. Oh man, just, just buckets of 7-Up glasses. If I came home, Chuck, I'm telling you, if I came home the with, cards. with no, not the troll cards, <laughs> my wife would completely understand that. If I came home with glasses, like, sorry, coming home with like Coke glasses, Ooh. my wife would be like, I've had it. You are moving I'm, out. I'm leaving. I'm taking the children. You can keep the troll cards in the bottles. <laughs> well, I want a divorce. You should get yourself that world's greatest husband up there. I want a divorce. If those troll cards were 10 bucks, I'd be in. Oh, Chuck, look. At this Gremlins wow. oh, lunchbox. $48. Oh my goodness. That thing is amazing. Did, did, those, did those have thermoses? The uh I don't this one doesn't have anything in it. I, I would doubt it probably. I'm saying did. like did they though? I don't I don't know if they did. And if they did oh, oh I guess that would tell us if it did or not. That is a clear description picture of a <laughs> thermos. Where are the other ones? $20 man. Rough rider. <laughs> Here. Skateboard. The skateboarder? That's cool. Fiesta. We're seeing a lot of Fiesta wear at uh, these Batesville flea markets. He's kind of looking right now. What's that mean? Well, it's just kind of being slow. <laughs> just really old, like, talker stuff. All oh, yeah. steel. Metal. A lot of times this stuff is uh, worked a little bit. Yeah, they are. Just because it's so solid. 
we wondered what would happen if an elephant stepped on a Tonka toy. A toy shouldn't break just because a child plays with it. Ooh, I am tempted. I am tempted to get that Gremlins lunchbox made. Tempted to get this big uh, Tootsie Hey, all right. Let's talk about this. Okay, all right. Do y'all remember the old, the old ancient wives' tale? About the star. About this star. Oh yeah. And it's like if you got the package with it with this guy, you could bring it into a gas station and get another one. I mean, I didn't, I didn't know what it was for, but I remember there was some kind of talk about the star. But then I realized, like, that's the what star I. Was on a lot of them. That's what I always heard, and I have never found that to be true. Is that like just right. an Arkansas South? wives tale or oh, did yeah. you also hear that where you live i don't know it's just like something i've heard oh look laser disc Ooh, come on now surviving the game just one <laughs> absolutely great movie are you serious yes 100 all right insert trailer never underestimate Come on, Mason! a man who has nothing to lose yeah so it's ice t yeah so ice t is a homeless guy okay and uh, these rich guys take him to this uh, middle of the woods and they hunt him. Oh, wow. So it's really good. Sounds movie. graphic. Uh, yeah. here, here is a really cool Ronald McDonald house Christmassy truck from 1992, y'all. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Okay. He's finding some comics. Angel and the R? Is that what that says? He's an eight. Bruh. And the eight. <laughs> <laughs> that would make a lot more sense. Wanderers. Valor. Looks like a really lot of, a lot of uh, really popular. Oh look, you know that dude right there is uh, Peacemaker on uh, new Suicide Squad movie. Stop knowing everything. John Cena. Here is one game. You got Madden 2005 for Perfect. four bucks. No, four forty nine. Uh, I'll guarantee this will sit here for the end of eternity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Deeds, y'all. Mr. Deeds, I, love, I Deeds. love this movie so much. I am very, very sneaky, sir. Hey, Power Rangers. I think that's the later stuff. I never. Oh yeah, it is. Definitely. I think really after Body Morphin, I I lost it. Oh yeah, ninety. I was getting older too. Ninety-seven so. or so is when I stopped. Yeah. Getting older. It's never stopped us before. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The Seven Up sign I is like actually the, really uh, cool. The old school Razorback logo. I like that. Yeah, y'all, we're Arkansas Razorback fans through and through. Look at this, seven up, the Uncola. Oh my goodness. This thing is beautiful. This is pretty cool yeah, too. Oh, that's a Sony too. Sony boombox, love it. Also need to escape this area because of the music. Very loud. Itchy and scratchy comment, check that out. Ooh, that's cool. That is cool. Dude. Wasn't that funny, boys and girls? Well, wasn't it? 1250. Come on, man. I do like it though. Whoa, dude, Kool-Aid. Kool -Aid. We're just talking about Hawaiian Punch, even though it's different. <laughs> NBA, Blazers, Barbie. You remember in the 90s when like patches and stuff? Used oh, to be patches were really cool. amazing. Georgia, man, we're talking about all this stuff. All right. The world, this stuff is just mater we're manifesting. It's materializing <laughs> as we're walking we're through. Talking <laughs> as we're about, talking through it. Oh, it's that kind of place, okay. Look at these, man. Terry and the Pirates. I don't know anything about this, y'all. Sunday Funnies. Oh, it's like an old comic book strip thing, maybe. Sylvester looks pretty cool. The Taz. Taz eating a summery sandwich with Daffy. With a dynamite. dynamite in the middle of it. <laughs> yeah, those are cool. $5 I think if it cool, had like a uh, Dick Tracy on it or something, that'd be something I'll be not super into the crazy or anything, but I, I like so it's, cool. It, yeah, I do too. I like the colors. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. All right, guys, future Rick here and I had to cut in really quick. So basically we were done filming this video, editing this video, putting it all together. And then I get a message from the WhatNot team and they're like, hey, I don't know if you've made your video yet, uh, but we just launched a sick referral program. Basically anybody, any new user that uses the link down below in my description gets a free 10 bucks. They get $10 to use on the platform. That is insane, guys. So go over there, check it out. I wanted to make sure that you guys knew about it. So get your 10 bucks, go spend it. Let's get back into it. My dad, my dad restores these old fridges and puts them in man caves. That's really cool. Oh, dude. 1992. Dream Team. Dream Team, man. 90, 
92, was that the mop? That's like Larry Bird, Michael yeah. Jordan. Yeah. I feel like 94, Charles was Fox. it 94? Is it every two years? Uh, the, is it every four? Well, there's summer and winter Olympics. Summer is every two. I feel like, I, I feel like 1994 four. Dream Team was like Penny Hardaway, Grant Hill. Oh yeah, yeah. That was my favorite. That's probably right. Yeah, here you go. Chris Mullen, Patrick Ewing, Dave Robinson. Yeah. Charles Barkley, Matthew Johnson, Pippen. Oh, yeah. See, that's what's up. Here's some cool stuff. Check this out. Star Wars. Oh, these Bendems are cool. I just got the, uh, oh, yeah. did you see me get the Battletoad, Battletoads no, Bendems? I didn't see they're like, they're like 70 bucks each. Ooh, I probably have to keep that though. I kept them, yeah. Kept them. No, dude. That is so rad. Pizza Hut. Oh, nine and five. Yes. Nineteen eighty six. Is that correct? Don't chuck. Don't I'm put sorry, up things. I'm not trying to burn it. I think like faintly on the inside, maybe. Oh, you know what? I don't hold feel on, it here. Hold on. It's tape. It, I think it's tape. Yeah, it's tape. Oh, okay. it's yep, tape. We're, We're safe. That's cool. Yeah, I'm getting it. I think it's a great idea. I think it's a great yeah, idea. I'm gonna approve of this. What are do you approve of this big beer stein slim gym one? Yeah, absolutely. NASCAR always wins. <laughs> this. this is actually a pretty cool Budweiser sign. That is cool. Remember the old uh, Budweiser commercials from the nineties? Absolutely. Bud. Bud. Uh, also I just saw a Flintstones uh, McDonald's cup in there. Like Did the bat you? like the Batman ones. Oh yeah. <laughs> cup is so cool. <laughs> Not many people know about Flintstones kids. kids yeah. Oh. It's like they did Flintstone Kids, they did a pup named Scooby Doo. I think a lot of those things they kind of did the same time. Baby. Dude, I have never seen that box. Oh, snap. I have never really seen cool. that Guitar Hero box ever. It's ten dollars. That I mean, that's that's super cool. So this is a three pack because Rock the '80s is worth something by itself. Yeah, I think it's worth about ten bucks by itself. I think it's but, only like twenty bucks, but 20, still 24. super cool. Yeah, I've never seen it. I mean, that's almost like a display piece, as cool as that is. Yeah, that's cool. Dang. Here's a Hawkeye comic. Wow, it's just like Scarlet. There's Tom and Jerry. Nine and nine. So you can go, you can go just go a couple booths over and get this for three dollars cheaper. Oh wow! <laughs> I love when you see that. Dude, that Goodyear blimp. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's cool, man. Look at that thing. What? Okay. Neat. Some shot glasses over here. I've seen these a lot, too. They're like... Oh, yeah. Looking like a, like a football. football. Ooh, who's this guy? Oh, it's the Bud Man. The Bud Man. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I feel like I'm, I remember it Faintly somewhere. remember the Bud Man? Yeah. Bud Man is five bucks. That goofy has my attention. I am too. Oh wow! Look at that. Two hundred and fifty bucks autograph. Oh, I see it up there in the woods. That's pretty cool. Is the card autographed too? Could be. Better be oh, for two fifty. Like yeah. More of these McDonald's Beanie Babies. Wow. Not as not Beanie as Beanie. yellowed. All right. What you got, goof? What you doing over here? Is it a bank? No, it's just like a ceramic piece. Fifteen. What is it? Okay. Oh, and there's the uh, the bird guy from uh, Rescuers. Oh, yes. Dude. Oh, Disney Store. So it's not oh, going to be old. Yeah, yeah. Here is a bank. Oh, yeah. Look at Pumbaa. Look at Pumbaa. That's pretty sweet. Oh, the guys. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of uh, Ace Ventura? But he's coming out of Rhino. Coming out of Rhino booty. <laughs> hot in these rhinos. Kind of hot in these rhinos. Oh, my gosh. Aaron just found this. Really? Riff, I think Riff just found this phone. That is crazy. Wow. Yes. That is hilarious. Like That's... I think this last episode, Riff from Pixel Game Squad just found that. I mean, that is extremely cool. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I just thought we saw the Flintstone kids glass again. <laughs> but <laughs> but Chuck just put it down. It down. <laughs> oh my God, sweet. That is really cool. Hello, Rick. What? Why didn't you buy the phone? So this is pre-movie. So they oh, look different. This yeah. is like, Harry definitely looks different, uh, but they had the books and they had toys. I saw I saw a Harry Potter bank one time. Loot crate. What is that? Loot crate. It's like I mean I know what loot crate okay. is. But what is this? <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I thought for once I knew it was something Chuck didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, loot crate is actually. <gasps> Whoa! Vintage oh, Space, Space Jam. Jam. Yeah. This is actually. Dude, I actually have Taz of that that stuff right there. Oh my gosh, what's happening? Oh whoa! It's a NES. Oh. Hogan's Alley. 
Oh, no, but it's Corbin's. not Hogan's Alley. It looks like Hogan. Corbin's, Corbin's Alley. Alley. I don't know what that is. The video game. Hey, look at that. It's got some, it's got some uh, info on the Space Jam game. I think PS1. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look easily, easily the most terrifying thing ever. How much is that? Ever. Hundred dollars? Yeah. It. It. Look. Hundred bucks. Oh. It was one twenty-five. Why didn't you buy the phone? Whoa, dude. Look. This is signed by Baby Ruth, the Colossus of Cloud, the Great Bambino. Whoa. Yes. Is it? Yeah. I love stuff like this, guys. What'd you find? What is it? What is it? That's actually really cool. It's 25. The, just the metal ones, man. I know. It's for thermos. That's interesting. Thermos, right there. Yeah, right there. That's a super old Bernstein's book. Ber Bernstein? Bernstein? Bernstein's. Yeah, see the A or A E? Hey, no Mandela effect, okay? It's Bernstein's. Well, I promise you, I'm pretty sure I, I bought a book the other day and it's EI. Oh, so there's a reason why we're all confused. Yes. So the funny thing is, I'm pretty sure Cinemassacre, shout out Cinemassacre, did a, a, a video about that whole thing about AI and EI okay. uh, not too long ago. But then I heard the same thing from so many other people and learned that it was big on the internet and lots of people remember the alternate spelling. Oh, Dang, that's boxed. Like lime green. Boxed Furby, lime green. I bet that's probably a pretty good deal too. Look at that. What a... <laughs> She's kind of dirty. <laughs> Lion King figure, Looney Tunes little tins. Cool. What is this? Oh, celebrity ducks. I mean, it's Wizard of Oz, but you collect them all. There's more. I don't know. I love that. Look, at, this is this perfectly defines flea markets. Jonas Brothers DVD, <laughs> celebrity ducks. <laughs> Wizard of Oz weird thing. That looks that looks like 90s, but 2006. 2006. Wow. wow, it's an old rough looking box. <laughs> these, candy, these candy cane candles or candy corn. <laughs> it says candy cane, but oh, yes, it, yeah. it is candy corn. Oh, that's cool. TV tray, that's cool. TV tray, 15 bucks. See, this is like the price you need to be, man. How much is that one? 15. Oh yeah. Strawberry shortcake. Not. This Care Bears tin is really cool. Get into the swim with the Care Bears. Weekday mornings on Kids TV. <laughs> it is, 85. Yeah. Obviously very little in terms of pickups at at this particular market, but we did get one thing before we hop into uh, these packages. We got this Flintstones Kids Pizza Hut glass. Look at this thing. It is absolutely gorgeous. One of my favorite glasses in the collection because first off, Flintstones Kids is pretty obscure. It's a Pizza Hut glass from 1986, a year before I was born, and it is so friggin' vibrant. Look at this thing. So the Flintstones Kids glass. Uh, it is amazing, but that's all we got at that flea market, unfortunately. Let's jump into these packages now. Here we go. Package one. I'm pretty sure I know which one this is based on the size, but let's crack into it. And also, huge shout out to my buddy Nick who gave me this knife. He's making fun of me one time in a video because I was opening things with like kid scissors. And he's like, dude, you need a knife. So thank you, Nick, for this. All right, here we go. So, yes, this is... This is exactly what I thought it was. I've been looking for this forever, guys. It is a Talkboy, brand new sealed in a blister pack. Now, blister packs are basically, it's just like in the plastic where you would see it hung up on like a hook. And this is sealed, it's never been opened. I've never seen, uh, I have seen one before, uh, but they're always been like two, three thousand uh, dollars. I haven't seen one in a while on eBay, and I finally got this one. Uh, I think I think I spent $400 on this, which uh, you guys are gonna think I'm absolutely insane, but I did, and I never see them under a couple thousand dollars, so so glad to finally have this. On the back of it, it's got all of the different Talkboy products, and looking back here, I can tell you I have all of those. There's only one I don't have, and I'll I'll tell you guys which one that is here in a minute because uh, I need help. I need help finding down or finding tracking down this last Talkboy item. So here it is, Deluxe Talkboy in the blister pack. 
Next package is from a private seller. He had one of these items on eBay, a very obscure Talkboy item, and I started talking to him and he said, I actually have another piece that I've never seen on eBay ever. And he showed it to me and I was like, yeah, I've, I've never seen that. Can we make a deal for both? And uh, this was $380 for these two items. I know, I know that's crazy, but I, I'm literally one away and at this point I have to spend the money if I want to complete this collection. So let's get into this box. All right, here we go. The first one. So this is this is the item that was on eBay. It is the Talk Boy or Talk Girl, excuse me, Talk Girl keychain. Now I have the Talk Boy keychain, did not have this one. And it makes all of those wacky 90s sounds. Yeah, I, I've never seen the Talk Girl almost like key fob thing. I've never seen that one ever available. So got that one. And then this is the item, uh, apart from the one that I've never seen uh, for sale, I I've never seen this one until he sent me this uh, this picture. He's like, I have this Talkboy item. It is the Talkboy tuned out. And basically it is, it's a radio. I don't know if there's like Talkboy effects on it or anything like that, but you scan for radio stations and there it is. I know, weird. Why would anybody want this? Well, if you're a freak like me, you do, because you want to complete the Talkboy, the Talkboy collection. So here it is, uh, the Talkboy tuned out, really cool plastic in blue, see-through, transparent situation. So, so glad, so glad to get these two pieces because again, I never see them, I never see them ever. So uh, let's crack into our last package. And here we are, last package. Now I do have this, but I don't, again, have it sealed in anything in the blister pack I want, I want so bad. This is the Talkboy TikToker. There is a Talkboy friggin' watch. I actually have a very cringy uh, video from when the, when the channel first launched, two years ago of a review of the TikToker. So I'll link it right up here if you wanna check that out, it's cringy. Uh, again, I was still trying to figure out how to speak on camera, I still am. But this is the Talkboy TikToker in uh, in a blister pack and this thing is like perfect looking. Like this is gradable. I'll be the first person in the entire friggin' world to grade uh, a Talkboy TikToker uh, blister pack toy. So guys, that's what I got. That's what I spent over a thousand dollars on are these Talkboy items. Uh, if you want to know the one last piece I need, the one last piece I need is the Talkboy pen blabbermouth. Hey beautiful, wanna go on a date? Hey beautiful, wanna go on a date? Sure, with you, not him. The Talkboy blabbermouth pen. He's got a real mouth on him. I thought for the longest time that it was uh, maybe like unproduced to a toy or something like that. But I did I did see a picture of one on Google or something at one point. Uh, so I was like, okay, I guess it is real. The Talkboy Blabbermouth Pen, if you know anybody that has it, if you have one, I will buy this thing off of you because I believe that's the last piece I need for uh, the Talkboy toy collection. Am I, am I a psycho? Yes. I totally agree that I am a weird psycho and I'm the only person in the world that wants to collect Talkboy items. But here we are, uh, two more, no, two more down that I that I needed, um, that I didn't have, and then two in blister packs. But guys, that's all the stuff that we got this week. Unfortunately, that flea market wasn't a stellar one this particular time, but we will definitely, me and Chuck will definitely go back and check it out. But you guys let me know down below what was the coolest thing that you thought we saw, or tell me which of the Talkboy items was your favorite. Probably, probably this one, uh, or the Blister Pack Talkboy is really sweet. But guys, as always, thank you for hanging out, for watching the video. If you would, like the video, it helps out tremendously. Subscribe if you have not already, and until next time, peace.